main check-in building. This is right at the entrance, or right after the entrance, rather. Ready for the official opening. All right, so we are heading for breakfast. It is 7.15. Just giving you a little view of just how beautiful this place is. This is just the beginning, not even the main part. And you got the tiki torches. It's crystal clear water. So tropical. There's a gift shop here. After my breakfast, I'm gonna come and get a hat at Tropical Gifts. And I do see hats here. Look at that, right there. Discovery Cove, Discovery Cove hat right there. That's probably what I'll be getting. Good thing about this being all inclusive, everything is included. Thank you so much. Everything in included, including uh, food, beverages, towels, swimsuits, uh, masks, fins, snorkels. Only thing that would not be included would be my hat. Alcohol is also included, all the oil I don't drink. Still right there? Thank you. And this is the grill. Here is the menu of all the different things you get to have as much as we want. So I'm going to get in line and get some food. All right, so I got my breakfast, got some scrambled egg, sausage, hash browns, some French toast, and some chocolate milk. So there are lots of ibis because there's people here eating. Definitely don't want to feed the birds. You see they are jumping on the table there. You're instructed to leave your food when you're done eating, but you don't want to leave your food if you're still eating because these birds will jump on the table and eat everything in sight. Hey everybody, Tom here for Tom's Road Trip and I am in Orlando, Florida and today I'm visiting Discovery Cove. Now this is a SeaWorld owned park. This is an all-inclusive resort. All-inclusive means that everything is included, meaning food, beverages, uh, alcohol included even though I don't drink. Everything is included. Towels are provided, sun care, you get a free locker to store your, your valuables. Uh, only thing that I had to spend money on was my hat. Because I am a SeaWorld Pass holder, I received a 30% discount on said hat. So instead of being $27.99, it was $18.99. So that's a good deal. So. If you do come here and you have a SeaWorld annual pass, make sure you bring that with you to receive the discount. I have a 8.30 dolphin swim coming up. I had my breakfast already. Unfortunately, they do not allow filming in the water with the dolphins. So I won't be able to show you my interaction with the dolphins, but I have my GoPro with me in my backpack. So I'll be showing you everything there is to offer in this immersive, beautiful place. I'm excited to be here. It's my first time here. Been wanting to come here for years. I got a fantastic price. I got a 50% ooh, there's water here before. I got a 50% off 
discount for my day here. Also because I'm a SeaWorld Pass holder. So I am gonna find my locker. I gotta switch into a wetsuit. And I'm gonna do my dolphin swim. And then I'm gonna show you guys everything else this place has to offer. So this is a map of the property. Down below, got the Grand Reef, Dolphin Lagoon, Serenity Bay, Explorer's Aviary, which is under renovation, so that is not open. You'd have some animal encounters, which are an additional up price. Marmoset monkeys and otters. So unfortunately, I will not be able to see any of the birds, including flamingos, which I was really sad to hear because you guys are familiar with my channel. You know flamingos are one of my favorite birds. But there is all sorts of other good stuff to do here throughout the day. All right, so I'm in the Oasis pool. Going to be seeing some otters. And I am wearing my, uh, using my GoPro. Obviously not wearing my hat because I'm in the water. You can see I'm wearing my my uh, wetsuit. Uh, the water here is very, very warm, which is really, really nice. Uh, I did my dolphin swim. That was fantastic. Like I said, I'm sorry I wasn't able to show you filming it. Although they did take pictures, I'm not 100% sure what the price, Ooh, sorry, just a step down, I wasn't paying attention. One, not sure what the price of the pictures are yet. So if I do purchase the pictures, I will show you the pictures in uh, the video. So, like I said, the water here is nice and warm. The dolphin pool was a little bit chilly when I first got in it, but you warm up, especially with the wetsuit. Uh, dolphin swim was fantastic. Learned all about the dolphins. Uh, we asked a bunch of questions, or I'll, rather, I asked a bunch of questions. Other people asked a few learn more about the dolphins uh, very soft and uh, rubbery kind of texture uh, we got to swim a short distance with them well the, the dolphin did the swimming we basically held on to their dorsal fin and their flipper as he pulls through the water so that part was fantastic So, like I said, I have my GoPro, so it won't get ruined if it gets wet. I'm gonna show you to the otters, because I do like otters. I like otter pops also. This way for the otters? Okay, cool. Thank you. The cool thing is, is we're in the water, and the otters are in the water. We're possibly in the water. So this is where the otters would be. So this is all uh, separated by, by glass. Hopefully I will see them. But it's gotta be entertaining for the otters also. Seeing the people in the water. You can see this is their habitat. So yeah, I don't see them at the moment. But that does not mean that they are not in here. I don't know how he gets under there. I'm not really sure yet. But there are some fish. Show you the fish under the water. There are some other animals over here. There they are. 
There's the otters. There's the otters. They're outside the water. Oh my god, they are so cute. You can see they have plenty of water and a little slide for them. Oh wow, they are so, so cute. Scratch himself. Scratch himself. Hi, babies. Oh my gosh, they are so cute. I really like otters, in case you couldn't tell. Bye, otters. All right, so we got Monkey Island is right here. Ooh, there are monkeys. Uh, got uh, no, I got my coat. Joffrey's marmosets. <laughs> Still waiting to find them. See, the water goes all the way around. Goes all the way around. So perhaps we will see something. Not 100% sure. See any monkeys out yet? Okay. Are there monkeys on here? Just gotta move my way around. Uh, do you see them? I saw them about five minutes ago, but okay. they're usually on this side over here, the other side. Okay. Other side? Okay. Yeah. Alright, gentlemen said they're usually on the other side. So we're gonna move around. Possibly see them. We're in the water and they actually have a little uh, kind of a moat that goes around that keeps them from getting off of their island. But they are, they're well taken care of. They're not just thrown over there like Gilligan's Island. They are actually housed here. They also have uh, marmoset training, or trainer talk in a Richmond session. So the possibly they are inside. Like I said, you get a little view of their little small moat sword that goes around them. But still early, I will definitely check back. See if I'll get a nice view of them for you. Have you seen any monkeys yet? Uh, not yet, no. Uh, I haven't seen any. I want to see some monkeys. Like I said, it's still early. Maybe they can come back. Maybe there's still Plenty asleep. of time to come back. Oh, there they are. There they are right there. I just Aww. saw them. <laughs> they heard us talking. Oh my God. Look how tiny they are. There they are. They are. Cute and fuzzy. I've seen these little guys at many zoos. But yes, they are definitely cute. Definitely cute. They have their own lazy river. Really, really nice. Look at their tiny tail. Their tails are so They are super cute. My armor sets. And he's got this is the, believe this is the same water from the entry area with the rocks. Yeah, actually it is. This is the same water. Because I can tell because there is the entry building. Other side of this. Yeah, entry buildings right there. So this is the water that we saw right from the beginning. So it's nice and warm. Which is good. Yeah, 
Over the weekend, early in the week, it was down in the in the the fifties. Those of you living up in northern states, that's nothing. But for people here in Florida, it's a little chilly. So it's nice that it's going to be in the eighties. Not too bad in the sun. But yeah, there's uh, this place is really really nice. Alright, so I'm going down another path. I might be going against the current. Yeah, actually I think I am. This is the entry point where people could get in. Yeah, that's what this is. Going the one way takes you to where the otters are. Yeah, so this is the main entrance area that you get into the water. And it loops around. So that was where the otters were. We saw the cute little otters. You see all these cabanas all around. People can rent these cabanas. Even though this is an all-inclusive resort, there are upcharges to a lot of the stuff here, such as renting cabanas. Towels are all included. Uh, some animal interactions, such as my dolphin swim, are an additional charge on top of your entry fee. So yeah, this is really nice with the falling tree look. Like I said, I'm pretty sure I'm going the opposite direction than you're normally supposed to, but it's water. I'm walking along the bottom, so I don't think it's too big of a, of a problem. But there are plenty of nice sand beaches to relax on. Yeah, I can definitely feel the current going the opposite direction. That's all right. I haven't always been one to follow instructions or directions. Is fine. You can, a lot of people have these little uh, green floaties. You can see one over there on the on the the sand there. So that way you just glide along, kind of like a lazy river. There's not a huge um, wave action or anything like that, but there is definitely a current that takes you around. back at Marmoset Island but I said I definitely enjoyed seeing the otters and showed you that there is both uh, both underwater views you could possibly see them so I'm in a little deeper part oh yeah this is deep right here this is over my head so I'm having a shot to actually swim which is good because I can swim And this is uh, not salt water. Came back to see the otters. See one sleeping right up by the glass. And there's the other two all snuggled together. One using the other as a nice pillow. Oh, look at him, he's so cute. He's right up by the glass. Look how cute that is. That is adorable. That is adorable. That is adorable. Yeah, you have to see all of the fish. 
lots and lots and lots of fish. But yeah, the otters have lots of space. Let me show you an underwater view of the fish. All right, so there is a nice walkway with banisters to get in. That's the way I went through. We got all these concrete lounge chairs where you can sit in the nice warm water. So I'm gonna go over to the, the river right by this one nice lovely waterfall. And before that, I am gonna show you this real quick. You can see all the beverages, all included, all the chips, all of the bottled beers and wines included. You got the ices, they got pretzels and other assorted snacks all included. All right, now this is fantastic. I always love waterfalls. Water is nice and warm here. Life jackets are available as well as uh, mask and snorkel. See more of the, uh, the floats that people are using. So if I can, I'm gonna try and grab that one. Oh, never mind. So I am going to be walking then. Going through the cave. Now this side definitely has a current. All the rocks. Wow, now this is really nice. Actually, feel the mist from the waterfall here. Really nice. Kind of stuck there for a second. Hello. Oh, this is really nice. Look at this. Are we going through a real cave? Almost feels like Pirates of the Caribbean. I believe that goes into the aviary. Like I said, unfortunately, that is under renovation. So I will not get to see any of the lovely birdies.
That's all right. If you want to see some nice birds, I have lots of beautiful birds in my zoo and some aquarium videos. Well, this is beautiful here. Changing more depth coming up. Eight foot or two point four three meters. So basically, if you don't have one of the floaties, you're gonna be swimming. Yeah, so you can see the aviary straight ahead. That is being renovated. Not entirely sure exactly what they are doing to the aviary. With the scaffolding, it might be something to do with the uh, outer netting, possibly replacing it, certain sections. Oh, another nice waterfall feature coming up. Let me get to swim underneath this one. All right, well, it pays to ask. I asked one of the uh, lifeguards here on the side exactly what they are doing for the aviary. And uh, just as I suspected, they are replacing the netting that makes up the the outer shell of it. So normally you would go through the aviary just like there and go upside. So I need to hold on to my glasses. Or better yet, I'm gonna take them off. You don't get damaged if you go underneath this waterfall. Wiping off the lens. Just gotta wait. Uh, you're able to see. See that waterfall right there is basically a barrier because, as you see, we are inside the aviary. However, all of the birds that are usually in here my understanding all the birds are removed from this area temporarily until the netting is completely redone so I can imagine what this Florida Sun shining on this stuff all the time it's gonna dry rot it So that's pretty cool that this goes through the aviary. So let's try to imagine that there's all sorts of birds flying around. It's still really pretty though. Even without seeing the birdies. 
and there are several exit points from the water through here where you can actually you know walk around the trails but those are all temporarily blocked off as well see so we go through another waterfall which is the other side see Avery here with the arrow Where you would normally go into the aviary. So once again, I'm gonna remove my glasses, and we're gonna go underneath the, the waterfall again. Everybody, hold your breath, okay? Here we go. Again, that is very refreshing. Oh, that was nice. There you see it. Lots of water. Like I said, this is uh, this is not salt water. This is uh, chlorinated water. So you definitely want to drink this stuff either. This is nice. Little, little stack statue. So this place is like a, uh, a deluxe water park. Although you're not gonna have any of the big slides like you would have at uh, a traditional water park. <sighs> so once I make it over to the reef area, I will pick up a mask and snorkel. So I can enjoy all of the all the fish and uh, the rays. They also have a uh, stingray feeding, which is also an additional additional charge. I did not choose to do that particular activity since I did the dolphin encounter. That's cool. More. I love all the rock work. I make sure they don't hit them. Nice security camera there. Let it put it to the side. Oh, I'm sorry. I accidentally touched the lady's foot. <laughs> Got a little too close. Just trying to get to an area where I could touch the bottom. There we go. There's elevation changes all throughout.
you know what? I was incorrect. This is the water that we saw from the very beginning. Because right there, you can see the top of the entry building. So yes, this lovely water here. This lovely water here. Man, that is just fantastic. Yeah, other side of that rocks is where the other area was. Nice stream. Occasionally you'll end up with some of these yeah, little uh, rock work along the bottom and I bang my knee on it and that hurt. Lots of elevation changes with the bottom. So if you are not a strong swimmer and you're here, I highly recommend getting one of these uh, green floaters. And for the little ones, a life vest, I believe, is required under a certain size. Very, very tropical looking. You know, it's weird seeing these branches right here. I just picture Simba, Timon and Pumbaa walking across it singing Hakuna Matata. Let me know what you think. There's no trolls laying under here. It'd be a whole lot easier to swim with two hands. There we go. Now I can move along the bottom. Working my way around. Gosh, I just, ow, that hurt. Ooh, man, just scratched my toe. I'm gonna be a mess before I leave this place.
Well, we're walking on rocks. Check out these rocks. So you can see how the the bottom is definitely not flat. It changes from like maybe a foot and a half deep in some areas where you have to um, kind of crawl across it if you got your floaty to some places where it's over eight feet deep where you can't even touch the bottom. This is a very relaxing swim. Get all the birds up in the tree. The white ibis are plentiful in the state of Florida. Basically a native bird. They're very opportunistic as well. They're smart to come to areas where there is food. As you saw from earlier in the video, those people left their table unattended with food on it, even momentarily. And you do that anywhere that these birds are, those birds are gonna attack the food. That's why you tell people not to feed these birds. So I am back here at the beach. I'm gonna move on over to the next area. Okay, I just picked up my mask and snorkel. Now because of uh, obvious reasons, the snorkel portion we get to keep. The mask, however, must be turned in after you finish using it. So that's that's kind of cool. It's good to know I'm not using something that was in someone else's mouth, which was kind of a little bit uh, disturbing to think of. So I'm heading over this way. By the way, there are showers here to rinse off. And the different cabana is a sand dollar cabana is where I came to to get instructions for the dolphin swim. My dolphin swim took place in this lagoon over here. There were three of them. Thank you. Everyone is separated usually into four different groups. So there's not so many people, uh, one dolphin. I see one of the dolphins swimming there. This is salt water. All right guys, we're gonna go all the way around and we're gonna head- And it's a bit chilly. Once you first get in, but it's not too bad after you're in for a while, especially because you're wearing the, the wetsuit. All right, so I'm showing you the map again. This is the dolphin area, like I was saying, Dolphin Lagoon. There's three different areas. Each area has a corresponding cabana. I was at the Sand Dollar Cabana, so we were in this area right here. So I'm going over here right now to the Grand Reef area and uh, gonna hopefully see some beautiful fish. All right, so we're gonna check out the Grand Reef. All right, so you can see I am wearing my mask and I got my snorkel right here. This area has all the fish and there are stingrays all throughout here. I'm carrying my glasses as I can't wear the, the the mask with my glasses. They do ask you to to put your uh, lanyards underneath because if they fall off, the uh, the stingrays will take them.
All right, so I figured out it's my facial hair that's making my mask uh, leak slightly. It's not as bad as it was, just very slightly. Now this is the underwater scuba presentation. And there is, uh, there's sharks in here? Oh, okay. There's sharks over here. You can try and get you close to them without being actually with the sharks. So the sting barbs are removed from the uh, stingrays for obvious reasons. We don't want anybody getting injured. So you can see all of the pretty fish and the rays. You get to go right up by them. little fishies. So I think sharkies are over here. Let's see if we can find the sharkies.
That was fantastic. Really nice stingrays in here. I'm oh, sorry. Really nice stingrays in here. Uh, I believe that was a, uh, a skate. Not 100% sure, but uh, I believe that's what it was. Dude, this looks like a, uh, a squid. Hmm. Lots of fish. <sighs> nice little waterfall. Where are the sharks at? Oh, okay, thank you. Going over to where the sharkies are. All right, so this is where the sharks are. You can see we are separated by a net. So I'm gonna show you an underwater view of them. There's a uh, massive grouper down there also. There are pathways up above. You can get a above view. And a little bridge here. I'll come back to that.
After this, it's gonna be uh, my lunch time. And after my lunch, I will come back and enjoy the rest of this place. Is really neat. All right, so I'm actually having one of the uh, lifeguards watch my eyeglasses, so I'm gonna go back right now and get them. All right, so I put my GoPro in my locker, and I got my little mini camcorder that I'm using for today. I didn't want to risk bringing my uh, my almost three thousand dollar setup here and risk getting it damaged with water. So I am heading to lunch now. Um, they schedule you in, in shifts basically. Although you do not have to come at that particular time, lunch is served until three o'clock. So you can come anytime during that. I am hungry, so I'm gonna go to lunch now. It's about, uh, let's see, it's 11.10 right now, according to this little clock here on the wall, or signage rather. Uh, so far, I'm having a phenomenal time. Really, really cool experience. Seeing the stingrays. Get a really good view of the sharks through the plexiglass underwater. That's awesome, right there. All right, so this is the lunch menu. Got all sorts of different things. All right, so for my lunch, I got uh, chimichurri steak, roast potatoes, some rice. I also got a chicken Caesar salad and some uh, strawberry cheesecake. And there's a chimichurri sauce. And I got me a unsweetened iced tea. All right, so I just finished my lunch and it was phenomenal. Very, very good. I cheat a little bit with the cheesecake because I'm trying to cut out uh, refined sugars and carbs and I couldn't resist. But other than that, I've been really, really good this past week. Uh, my biggest obstacle was quitting soda. That was the reason for my unsweetened tea, which I have grown accustomed to. Uh, sugar is not as exciting for me as it once was. I was definitely a sodaholic. I was drinking way, way too much and not getting any younger. Gonna be 48 in a few months. Scary, but it's true. My nice uh, gray facial hair and my uh, follically challenged head. But anyway, I'm trying to eat healthier. Uh, live longer basically so now that I got that part out of the way I'm gonna give you a nice overview of the park so lockers are provided for free you just put your stuff inside and you uh, you take your key just like I got this here it showed you our snack bars all throughout you got uh, chips Pretzels, I had a pretzel earlier, actually really, really good. Ices, other chips, all the sodas you want. They also have uh, adult beverages, hello. Which is the reason why they ask for your identification when you first get here. Though I am not a, uh, a drinker, it's available for people that are. Now, as I was not permitted to film in the water, as nobody else is either. 
Going to give you a little overview of what I actually experience on my dolphin experience. There are three different lagoons, three different cabanas with corresponding names. Those different cabanas will separate the people into four different groups usually. So four different dolphins. So that way there's not a really large group for everybody to get everything done. So the instructor is going to give you all sorts of information about the dolphin. You can ask lots of different questions. Everybody will get an opportunity to get their picture taken with the dolphin. And they will also do a brief dolphin swim. Where you hold on to their, uh, their, I think it's a dorsal fin and their flipper. And they will glide you through the water. Really, really neat experience. And someone else getting their dolphin swim. <laughs> so you can see from the beaches, there are lots and lots of chairs, umbrellas, lots of lush sand. We've got hammocks. There's also cabanas that you can rent for an additional charge. There are different tiers of cabanas. I believe this is a standard one. Then they also have deluxe cabanas that have a private area complete with a little mini refrigerator stocked full of beverages and snacks. This was the area that I had my dolphin presentation earlier. You can see that dolphin is giving that person a ride. So this is Serenity Reef. This portion is salt water. This is what one of those deluxe cabanas looks like. All the walkways are very lushly landscaped, so it's like you are in a tropical oasis, and technically you are. That's over the bridge. You do get a partial view on the stingrays. Now this is not real coral; it's decorative. Got a lovely waterfall. This easy one. And this is the shark pool. Big giant grouper. The people that are swimming with the sharks. Like I said, this is an additional uh, upcharge. Got one of the sharkies right there. Shark swim. You also have what's called Sea Venture, where you're basically wearing a scuba helmet. People that are down here. Again, this is an additional upcharge. This is where they get to walk on the bottom. And learn all about the fish and the stingrays, and I'm sure about the sharks. So 
This is something I might do in the future. Would have gotten way too pricey if I added on more stuff. But this whole area is just fantastic. All right, so I'm showing you the right portion of the map. I'm gonna go check guest services and find out how much the photos cost. I'll determine whether or not I'm going to purchase them or not. Right, so if you don't already have your passes purchased, you can go to guest services after you arrive and book additional activities such as Dolphin Swim and the other ones that I showed you. And you do have a nice selection of hats. In case you couldn't tell from my video, since I'm not wearing it right now, this is the type of hat that I purchased. I'm actually going to take a look at my photos that I got taken. They're all on this handy little folder. Yeah, I'm sorry about the reflection, but I got the four picture pack. It's the one. That's where we were swimming, or rather the dolphin was swimming, I was just being pulled along. And that was my last picture that I chose. Showing the Marmoset Island. And there are a couple of them that are out there. This is gorgeous. Like this is a little mini oasis. Basically just for aesthetics. You can't swim in this stuff. And like you, you can, but you probably get in trouble, basically. This is so nice. All the palm fronds need to be replaced on some of this stuff. All the water from all these little mini streams going under this bridge and out to here and it connects with the basically the lazy river one last look I had a wonderful day all right, everybody, that is going to do it for my visit to Discovery Cove right across the street from SeaWorld, Orlando. I had a fantastic time. Beautiful day. The water was gorgeous. Loved every minute of it. I did bang my knee and uh, scrape my toe in one of the, uh, the, the big, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, the, uh, the river because the bottom is not smooth it changes elevations i showed you a little bit with my gopro camera so if you do come here uh be cautious of that do you have different size wetsuits for all sizes including a uh, long sleeve short sleeve and just uh, a vest bathing suits are required advanced reservations are no longer required but in peak season, it's highly recommended because they do have a lower peak capacity than some of the surrounding parks only because of being all inclusive. It's supposed to be enjoyable for everybody. If it's completely packed, like some of the theme parks you get, it's not enjoyable. So leave some comments down below what your favorite part of my visit today was. There's so much to choose from, from all the fish and stingrays and the sharks. I sorry I couldn't show you any of the birds. I do love birds, especially the flamingos. All of the birds and the aviaries are across the street at SeaWorld right now. We have uh, facilities to handle them while they are replacing the netting on the aviary. So hopefully that will be done in time for peak summer season. Unfortunately, I will not be here for that. Perhaps we'll come back in the future. I came here today because of the great deal that I received. I've been wanting to come here for years, as I said earlier. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Leave some comments down below, like I said, comments, questions, suggestions. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel if you like this type of stuff. Theme parks, zoos, aquariums, quirky roadside attractions, state parks. I'm going to a lot more state parks. 
So anyway, thanks guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. All right, so this is the main lobby that you would check in when you first come in in the morning. It was still dark and very hectic in the morning. So I didn't get a chance to film it. Now this is really nice. All right, first of all, it's very windy right now. But this is right out by the front. These look like banana trees. But I've never seen them growing in this type of configuration before. So correct me if I'm in incorrect. But this is a banana tree.